Asher, when I talk to people around the Cannons organization, everyone believes in your coach, Brian Holman. Why do you believe in him? Yeah, you know, he just brings so much positive energy to the squad, you know, and just tells us that, you know, we got to put the work in to believe in ourselves and play confident, and I think that's what everyone on this squad does. So that's what we'll continue to do today. Your secret sauce is passing the ball. Why are you such a great distributor? Uh, I think I like seeing other people succeed more than myself sometimes. So, you know, that's how that works. Great to talk to Asher Knowlton, Cash App powering the athletes Good under the helmet. It's cannons that start with the ball, so we get our first look at Asher. Top left. I had a chance to sit down and talk to Marcus and his dad, Brian, today. Their relationship is amazing. The respect that they have and the balance of knowing when to be son and when to be dad and when to be player and when to be coach. They have Three such a good left. beat on that. Left. Hit right. Two goals in 52 seconds for Cannons early in this one. Here we go, center. Extra. Merrill wins the faceoff to Crum. Maryland, after winning the Tawarton, the Heisman Trophy of college lacrosse, you want to get him involved in the offense. You want him coming off of picks. You want him getting his feet set with the left hand. You know, what was incredible when you look at that Archers game a week ago in Charlotte. One lead, Marcus Holman and the Cannons cooking early, and Holman is down with Dana Boyle. Marcus, I know you won an MLL championship for the Ohio Machine in 2017. What's it like to be back in the state of Ohio? I love it. Great city, Columbus. Uh, like my second home for a while, six years with the Machine. So, a uh, year and... The PLL, keeping the touring model, I'm sure you've heard, but in 2024, there will be home cities, and you guys can affect which home base will be around the country. Fans can go to PLLVote.com and vote for up to three cities where they'd like to see. If he doesn't feel like he'll get the shot off, he'll plant his foot, and he'll keep coming upfield. And he has a fantastic shot from five yards above goal line extended too so he has options there back left here we go right the pulse in an absolute terror in the middle of the field three-time captain four-time all-american here at Ohio State, first to do either of those things it's scarlet and gray yeah Nick Myers is in attendance with his son Mason and Guess what jersey Mason was rocking? 34. Great night for Coach Myers to bring the family out. See this place sold out. Connor Farrell. He tested at the face-off X is a long battle. Chrome comes up victorious. Trail, Chrome up 6-2 in the, the year 2023. Chances are it's going to be a one-goal game. Nine games played, seven decided by just a goal. One doozy after another. We just saw a thriller in game one of four here in Columbus. Water Dogs came back from seven goals. Feel comfortable in doing what we're doing right now, but we got to be ready for anything. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. Thank you. The Cannons desperate for what would be their first win in the Brian Holman era. A 5-4 lead at the start of the second quarter. Trying to bounce her from deep to start. Falls right to Knowlton. He's got the chrome hung up behind the cage at X. With plenty of time to work with, too. Dangle or his momentum. A lot of times off a spin, you can go to the side and, and, and you lose your base, and it's hard to be a shooter. But when you spin and you stay north-south from that top spot at the midfield, great things happen. Chrome on a 4 nothing run. Holman ends it! Right off the face-off win from Stephen Kelly. Marcus Holman fires cannons back in front a seven second response you know kelly last week against the chaos was a bright spot 60 percent goes toe to toe with the milkman 
wins the draw, but Stephen Kelly is one of the better guys in the league after the faceoff. Defending, getting ground balls, and dishing the rock to the sharpshooter, Marcus Holman. When you put Holman at the point, you have to respect him. You have to press out and you have to acknowledge him as a shooter. Holman, two goals and an assist already tonight. You know, it was interesting when I sat down with Brian. Or a week ago, you've seen other guys come to the party tonight. Farrell and Kelly continue to be so physical in the faceoff. Holman's Cannons team up 7 6 here. Paul Carcaterra, Jay Alter with you, Dana Boyle down on the sideline. Cannons searching for their first win of the season. Energy and passion. Brian Holman this morning told me watching Marcus play as a 32 year old is a lot like watching him play when he was eight. He's running around, he's happy, he always plays with a smile on his face, he's getting teammates involved. You know, it's, it's great to see. You know, these veterans who've been around for a while. Tie of the second quarter. Back and forth we go between Cannons and Chrome. These games are ridiculous. Like one after another. <laughs> you, you know, a lot of times face off guys will say they need an ice bath. Announcers need ice baths after these games. Like I'm toast. And we're back at <laughs> noon tomorrow, honey. Chris and Pat winning Notre Dame's first national title. He paved the way for those two lads to, to dominate. And the Kavanaugh name is. Something special at Notre Dame, but more importantly in the lacrosse world. When I think of the word Kavanaugh in lacrosse, I think of tough. Now both goalies have allowed seven goals tonight. Why Cannons has the lead is because of the two-point goal. And we start this second half. Cannons eight, Chrome seven. Cannons desperate for that first win of the Brian Holman era. It'll be Chrome that starts with the ball. Unless the goalie makes a spectacular save, it's going in. Because his efficiency, he rarely ever hits a goalie. You're, you're forcing a goalie to make a big time stop from 10 when Holman has room and has a moment to identify the cage to know exactly where he wants it. Let's go under the helmet powered by Cash App. Connor, before you take this face, I have to ask you, what's the biggest difference going against Stephen Kelly as opposed to the other guys in the league? Well, Bone, Bones is a scrappy guy. He, even if he doesn't get the clamp, he's always right on you, like uh, like white on rice. So he's a scrappy guy. I love battling him. It's been the fifth year with him, so excited to go. You don't sound tired today. Extra conditioning this week? Fucking right when I'm going down. <laughs> How about that? Those are fighting words from Connor Farrell, the milkman. <laughs> Taking some language from yeah, taking some language lessons from Pac-Man Jones. Over the top type finish as we see these two scrap again. Farrell wins it with ease again. He is starting to pull away in the face-off battle, 12 to seven. Chrome still trailing by two though. Dylan Malloy soaking that check. Double team runs in, he passes out of there. He's toast. He knows that fine line between beating the short stick and getting the shot off before the slides. Three for five tonight. Farrell starting the feast. Three in a row. Water Dogs and Atlas. Water Dogs didn't lead until 10 seconds left in the game. Took their first lead through Connor Kelly. His nine-point night was enough to complete a terrific comeback. And we're all set for another fun finish in Chrome and Cannons. Connor Farrell has now won six straight face-offs. Karki has taken over this game. Yeah, the, we've seen a three-quarter overhand release tonight. We've seen a straight overhand release. We've seen a low to low. So he's spraying from all different angles. As a goalie, 
you think you have the scout, but there's a few shooters in the world that you really never have to scout, and he's one of them. Ryan Brown by Drenner. He goes to the cage hard, he runs full speed, and as a midi, with all that attack background, like you have options to invert Ryan Drenner. I think it's his jersey. He's going from number eight Nick Grill to a fresh, clean white 81. So the extra jersey, I don't know if Dana has any insight on how that happened. Ugh. Got a nice little butterfly band. He went right back in, he said he was okay. It's the tough game. Physicality all night long, it continues at the start of this fourth quarter, one goal game. Just like seven of the first nine. 6-2, 205, and he's got a hat he trick looks bigger tonight. Than that. And he does. looks bigger than 205. Certainly plays bigger than that. This is scary for the Cannons because they're playing so well, they're playing so hard. But Farrell, what's he won, his last nine? Jackson Morrill, it's his seventh of the season. See the strength of Farrell just yeah. shoving Kelly. Kelly. Kelly actually won that, that draw. Oh, oh, and a big hit! Farrell takes out Kelly to win the ball back for Chrome. Don't ever question how much milk a human consumes. It comes and plays dividends when needed most, right? You saw the strength of... And off of resets. Does anyone... Under the sun, who loves lacrosse, question how no. great these games this are. Is so let's just take it and run. Let's go. Farrell and Kelly continue to battle. Face off one by Chrome. Jackson Morrill looking for a quick strike. He missed it. Chrome at the face off tonight. 20 to 8, and yet tied at 13. We saw Trevor Baptiste. Guy finishing. He only goes by the nickname Matty Ice for a reason. Biggest face off of the game. Farrell comes away with it. Chrome with one timeout remaining. Do you use it here? The issue is off of a face off, you're at the 32 second shot clock. You have 20 seconds left. That's how quick it goes. Justin Anderson goes.